Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to talk about the Benchmade bug out and the mini bug out. So I've obviously reviewed the bug out in the past, but it's been a long time since I've handled one. And I've never actually reviewed the mini bug out. I had one in hand briefly at a meetup. Other than that, I haven't really experienced this knife. So um, this is kind of cool for me to do. Both of these are actually first production knives and they are going to be for sale. So that's interesting. Um, and then I wanted to quickly sort of compare it to the DECA and just give my opinion. This is the version 2, so it's much more comparable um, in my estimation anyway. So real quick, I have these drivers out because I wanted to just quickly cover something. I took these out of the box. So these both belong to... You hear that? Holy shit. Um, my good buddy, my local buddy Joe. He is... Um, my local buddy, a really good friend. We have lunch a lot, um, and we talk all the time. And he also is a very good sharpener on his KME. So he does a lot of my sharpening, which is awesome. I really appreciate you for that, Joe. And I have a bunch of his knives in right now that I'm going to post a knife sale video on. And hopefully you guys will be gobbling them up. And he has all types of stuff. Benchmade, Spider Co. He has a Shiro. Uh, there's a um, A Purvis. There's a Microtech. So there's there's some cool stuff in there. We've already sold a couple, but anyway, that's what these are. And I took these out of the box to kind of just see what they felt like. And uh, man, the action specifically on this was absolute poop. Like one, the centering was off. Two, it just felt really gritty right in here. And it was like stiff to get out. Um, so it seemed like he bought it. He kind of modded it a little bit, I think. He swapped the the lanyard thing back here and then the screws. At least I think so. Let's take a look. So here's the bug out 535-3. Um, it is a first production. And there's this in here. So I don't know what... I think that was the stock... Um, backspacer and these are the stock screws they were black i guess i don't know i'm not sure or these are aftermarket i'm not um, an expert on this model so i don't know but i can tell you that the thumb studs match that so i'm guessing that was the stock configuration and he replaced these but i could be wrong um so yeah and then the mini bug out is the 533 bk-2 first production and this one um i believe is stock there's nothing at oh wait there's a couple of standoffs in here so i don't know if he did so oh he added a backspacer nice look at that so there are some aftermarket parts on both of these which is cool but it comes with the regular stuff anyway i quickly sort of tune these up to get them to be like this right the action is much better now on both of these. Uh, this one was okay. It didn't quite drop, but it fired out pretty good. Uh, it's a little smaller, so it's hard for me to handle. Centering is pretty much dead nuts on that one. Um, and we have barely any blade play. Um, no lock rock of any kind or whatever, axis lock. This one, um, again, barely any play, no rock. And uh, centering is not perfect, but it's much better than it was. And I could keep messing with it, but I'm not going to. Um, and all I really did was this. I used the T10, right? Obviously, I used this T6 to switch the clips to lefty so I could manipulate them better. Because with an axis lock, it's you kind of want to grab the clip when you do stuff. So I, I flipped the clip over. That's why I used this. And then the T10 for the pivot, I just kind of loosened and tightened and and got it to where it was pretty centered and i felt that action was pretty good and bench mains are weird guys like sometimes you'll loosen it and like it'll have play and you'll loosen it and then it'll have less play it's like it's goofy how they how they operate you just kind of gotta you know you kind of gotta just tune it as you go just there I, I tighten it a little bit oh let me tighten it a little more right now I feel no play, right? But look, now it's stiff. And centering is is better, but I need that action, right? So now I lighten it up. Little tiny bit of play, and now I drop shut. 
and I still have that centering. So it's just kind of a, it's kind of a, just a give and take, uh, with the driver. And then the biggest thing was they felt, like I said, gritty. So I just used some canned air sprayed in there, you know, opened it, sprayed up in here. I just kind of spray everywhere to get gunk and shit out off of the washers. And then I put, I took this, uh, did I say KPL? I took this nano oil 10 weight and I just put a drop here, put a drop here on each side. And then I took that canned air and just gave it a little squirt to spray it onto the washers. Right. And then I just took, you know, two 30 seconds and did this a bunch of times, right? Try to work that in. And man, this thing went from basically stiff and gritty to absolutely perfect with mid, like almost no play and decent centering. So um, that's just a quick tip on that. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that already, but I just wanted to kind of do that. So um, the full-size bug out, this is the one with carbon fiber and S90V. This is the one I've wanted. So this is the only bug out I've been interested in in the last like three years. So I had a stock blue bug out, you know, the old FRN one, S30V. And then I had scales made. I had this Micarta one with cool stuff on it. It was pretty cool. I eventually sold it because I just never carried it, right? Um, but then when they came out with this one, I got interested again. It's just kind of like, oh, they actually did something. They did carbon fiber scales and S90V, and it's just different. So I really do like this bug out. If I were to buy a bug out, it would probably be this one. I don't know if I'll buy this off him, but I'm guessing it's like 200 bucks or something. But the bug out is such a classic, guys. Um, as much as I can rag on Benchmade, and, and I don't really have an issue with them. I just haven't seen designs that I like very much lately. Um, so I don't buy them or anything. And I'm not the biggest Axis Lock fan, but they do it very well, right? And I got to give Benchmade props. They absolutely kill the warranty game. Um, now, the downside is almost every one of the knives I've ever had from Benchmade, I've had to send in. There's always been something messed up with it. But I send it in, it comes back perfect, and it costs us nothing. It costs me nothing, right? That's awesome. Um, so I got to give them props for that. Whether you want to call that the butterfly tax or not, I don't care. Um, it's worth it in my opinion. So obviously the bug out is a great, is a great knife. It's very ergonomic. It's a very simple knife, right? It's just knife. And I like that about it. It's very comfortable in the hand. Uh, it's very lightweight. It disappears in your pocket. I mean, to me, if I was not being a silly goose and, you know, spending oomphteenth amounts of money on knives and having so many and being basically an idiot. Um, if I just wanted one knife that I could carry around EDC, it would do everything I needed it to do. And yet it would be unnoticeable in my pocket and just, you know what I mean? Like the bug out is the perfect knife for that, in my opinion. And this one specifically with the edge retention of S90V, the lightweight of carbon fiber. It's a sexy looking bug out. And I always thought the bug out was sexy to begin with. It carries left-handed. It's ambidextrous. So you can hand it to anybody. You know, you can two-hand it out if you want. You can two-hand close it if you want. If you want to flick it, you can, right? You want to reverse flick it? You can. You want it to drop shut? It does, right? Um, you can control these things on the on the axis lock and the bug out. I love that. Like maybe uh, Bob over there doesn't like drop shut. Oh man, man, your knife dropped shut. That sucked. Well, Bob can just do this, right? Bob can just disengage the lock, slow roll it down and he's good to go. He can slow roll it open and he can slow roll it down. Meanwhile, I can go, hey Bob, look at me. I'm cool, right? I can do all the cool things the cool kids do. So I just think that's awesome with the bug out. It's very unique in that way. Um, and it's just an awesome knife. The full-size bug out is one of my favorite all-time designs and knives. Just because I don't have one doesn't mean it's not, right? Uh, and I might have one soon. This might be mine. This action is fantastic. I mean, it fires out of there. One thing I've always loved about the bug out design is where the thumb studs are located. You end up going straight up just vertical punch 
and it fires out of there when you do that. You can go to the side, but you get a lot of traction and a lot of momentum behind it. And I really like that about the bug out. So if we talk about the mini bug out, it's exactly that. It's just a tiny version of the bug out. And in my opinion, it's basically too small, but I get it. It's made to be mini, right? Um, this one, same thing. I kind of tuned it to um, be a little more drop shot. I think I was messing with it while we were talking there. So just loosen that a touch and see. Now, it's up to you. Do you want it to fall shut like that, or do you want it to guillotine down? Um, you know, if I loosen this one more smidgen, I might get it to just guillotine down. You see how it almost got, like, less drop shut? It's super weird sometimes with Benchmade. Um, now, this is just a smaller knife, right? We're dead centered. And we have a little play, but it's not bad. Um... You still get to fire it out from down here. Bang. And, I mean, for being a mini, it fits my hand really well. This, in my opinion, is the better mini if you're comparing uh, the mini bug out to the mini Osborne. This actually fits my hand. The mini Osborne had the weird kind of handle design for me where it just didn't quite fit. Now, yeah, I feel the clip in my palm. And this is going to be the, um, I believe, CF Elite shit. Is that what it is? Mini bug out. And it doesn't say, but I'm guessing they didn't do black grivery, right? I guess it could be a um, Blade HQ blackout version, not CF Elite, but I don't know. So I can't tell you for sure. But um, anyway, I like it. It, it certainly works. If you need a, a little knife to just carry around... And it'll still do everything you need. I mean, I still get a full purchase. I can still cut and do everything I need to do with it. And, I mean, put this thing in your pocket and it's absolutely just gone, right? Uh, weighs nothing. So, I actually really like the mini bug out. Um, again, not something I'd necessarily want to own. Maybe if they came out with a really fancy mini bug out, it'd be cool to just have as a backup. Um you know, maybe one day I'll have both again, but it's just one of those things where, like, I'm thinking right now I'd like to have these and, and, and buy them, and and then they'll sit there in the knife case, I won't carry them, and then they'll be in a knife sale. So, like, you know, it just is what it is. I'm kind of past this level in terms of Benchmade, um, and it's more, it's not really the level, it's the axis lock. I don't know, and the grivery, of course. Um... I don't know, that sounded a little douchey. I don't know what I meant, so I take that back. Because I like budget knives. Like, I have this $60 Royale with cheese. I carry this a decent amount. I mean, so it's, you know, and that's cheaper than both of those. So it's more or less, I just like holes and a detents, right? Um, so real quick, let's compare the bug out to the uh, Deca over here. And... When I was messing around with the DECA earlier today, I did a first impressions of it. I think I said I liked the action slash detent, so to speak, spring better on the DECA. But now that I'm sitting here with both of them, this bug out is 10 times better. So I was just falsely remembering how the bug out is. But listen to this. Okay, now listen to this. So, you notice how much softer this is coming out? Now, I don't know if part of that is G10 versus carbon fiber. Obviously, acoustics is one thing, but I'm feeling this, and I'm not getting as much momentum behind my DECA deployment as I am behind... I just cannon this thing out. I mean, it just rockets and this thing is kind of like yeah i'll come out like it's not bad by any means i obviously was enjoying it earlier today but you see that reverse flick just like kind of comes out just barely locks up this thing you know it it wants to gun out so i gotta give it to the bug out on that aspect in terms of ergos that was kind of the downfall for me in the first impressions it just i don't know the deca just does not feel that great in hand where the bug out being so neutral 
It's an absolute pleasure for me to hold this. Yes, I feel the clip, but that's it. You know, I feel that one too. So, I mean, this is one of the best clips in the game, by the way. And um, I really like this clip. This clip is growing on me so fast. Um, I just love that. I mean, yeah, the bug out clip is good. I really like the bug out clip, but um, I got to give it to this clip for sure. I should do a blade battle with these two, shouldn't I? Um, I just don't know if I'll have either of them long enough to do it. I like to do blade battles with my own knives, kind of. Um, but they're honestly both really good. Uh, S90V, obviously, versus 20CV, but normally this comes in S30 like this. Um, so base model, you got to give it to the DECA there. They also come with G10 instead of um grivery base model i do think these are more like 150 these are more like 120 or 130 for the base model so it's close but for that difference you'd rather upgrade to this stuff but they have too much going on here on the handle you know for it um for me personally it, it's one of those things where once you get these swells and stuff it comes down to the person's hand and this one just doesn't quite feel right in my hand where the bug out is neutral. And for most people, it's just going to be comfortable, right? It might not be the most comfortable thing in the world, but it feels comfortable. And yeah, this action is freaking incredible, which is funny because out of the box, I was like, oh my goodness, this is trash because it was just so rough and stiff. But obviously I got it to a perfect uh situation there and this came out of the box i mean it dropped shut it's just got a much lighter sort of detent spring or is it just they're very similar i will say this spring does feel a little lighter um but i think more than that it's the angle of the stud and where it is you just get a better pop on the bug out so if you if you made me choose right now between the two knives i would go bug out all day um i really like this um uh, but i i love the bug out guys i've always loved it uh, you know um i don't scream from the rooftops about the bug out but it, it has a special place in my heart um this was actually probably one of the first like more premium knives that i purchased um i think i bought a bug out and a zto 450 online from amazon and that's what started this <laughs> that's what started this that was in like 2017 or 18 i had like you know i had a couple knives five knives for a long time right um i bought a knife every couple months i bought one or whatever and um, that's how I really started in the hobby. Um, and then COVID hit and it really just took off from there. Right. Um, but I had a bug out in pocket, um, along with, you know, that ZT or I had a Wii rectifier and a Kershaw Atmos. Those four knives saw the majority of pocket time for like two years, you know, um, until I turn into a maniac. So I have a special just bond with the bug out. I've always loved it. I love the finish they do on their satin. It's just this sort of like computerized looking grid on there. I love that. Um, and I just like Benchmade, you know, people hate on them all the time and I get it, but I just kind of really like Benchmade. So shout out to Zach stuff guy, go check out Zach stuff. If you're into Benchmade, uh, he is the channel for you. Um, he might as well be employed by them. So he has every Benchmade ever created. Um, it's it's crazy. So check out Zach's stuff. Um, I love these knives. I really like them. I like the Deca too. Um, it's just now that I've kind of handled all three of these back to back, the Deca kind of falls short for me. Um, yeah, like... I don't know how to explain that. If I just had a DECA, I'd probably be like, okay, it's a cool knife, good knife, built really well. It's going to do really good work. If you're just, you know, slow rolling it out, if you're just doing that kind of stuff and using it and these ergos work for you, then yeah, it's going to be great, right? Um, but having handled them all now, I'm just like, wow, this just night and day bug out is 
just way superior. Um, specifically this one. Um, so you never know. I might pick this one off Joe, depending on what he wants. Um, uh, but we'll see. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.